Welcome to the Bridge of Truth, the interactive webcast and online community for all who want to make a positive impact on the world. Recently, a great deal of attention has been paid by the media to the year 2012, most specifically the date of December 21st, the end of the Mayan calendar. Are we talking about Armageddon? Or is it just Hollywood hype? Or perhaps there are cosmological guideposts pointing to something else something less catastrophic, but equally transformative. My special guest today will hopefully be able to shed some light on this subject. I'd like to welcome you now, Stephanie Azaria, Anthony Citro. Stephanie and Anthony are spiritual teachers and healers and students of Derek O'Neill, and also close personal friends. Thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure, it's great to be here. So, um, I happen to mention that um, your students of Derek, maybe it would be a good idea to start there, and then we can get into our discussion. Well, <laughs> go ahead. Um, uh, 2003, um, I remember I was at a meditation with my dear friend and our colleague, Rebecca Scott, and she said, uh, you gotta come meet this guy, Derek O'Neill. And my head went, what? <laughs> I've never looked back since. Um, he's my teacher, and um, he's wonderful, and uh, he's just a great being of light and he's here to bring truth that will set us free. And uh, he's just been my inspiration, my role model, uh, my spiritual father. And um, it's just such an honor and a pleasure to be his student and a privilege. And we're just all together trying to help bring us us usher in the golden age and bring back the Christ consciousness fully onto the planet. And, that's well, that's a pretty deep that. subject, and I, I think we're going to take a little bit of time to discuss that. Sure. I'm just curious, Anthony, uh, where were you before you, in terms of your path or your, your personal, well, before you got a short started. segment. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, well, to be honest with you, I was, always had a spiritual bent, and uh, I was doing the actor thing. I thought I was going to be an actor, and, um, but as Derek points out a number of times, you have one plan for your life, and God's plan is usually 99.9% .9 different. Um, and uh, I was at a really low point. I was at the point where I said, I just want to leave the planet, you know, the whole bit. I was depressed, yada, yada. Um, and when I met him and got the calling, my life started to turn around, and it's been an amazing journey. And now I'm at the point where I've gotten past a lot of my stuff, not all of it, but a lot of it, and I'm able to help others come along. And, uh, and that's where I was. I mean, I had done the Reiki. I'd, read tarot, taught tarot, and mm -hmm. all that stuff, and sort of like it's, this kind of work is sort of like a progression, you know, it sort of unfolds beyond your own conscious uh, awareness of it until you actually experience it, and then you go, oh, okay. <laughs> and so ever since I've been with him and with the mission, and now SQ Wellness, this great organization which he founded mm -hmm. to bring all this work together, um, you know, it's just been one amazing journey and step after the other and uh, and uh, you know now we're here essentially um, to pr promote the rising star and bring it forward um, as the tool to bring forth somebody to their full ascension a important tool to that end and of course the more truth and um, it's just it's just love really you know it's hard it's to the religion really. of love what attracted you to uh, Derek Stephanie well, Derek is a master teacher. He's from Ireland. He's a master spiritual world teacher. And I was on the spiritual path for many, many years before I also met Derek in 2003. Um, and I never had a teacher before. I'm not that kind of person that follows people around. Um, Never thought I would be. I don't really follow Derek around, but I am one of his students, and also he's made me one of his teachers. Anthony is also one of his teachers. Um, because, well, the circumstances around the way I met him were phenomenal. Huge circles got moved around just so I could get an email, so I could know he was around. It was very odd, and 
the minute I got that email, I felt it, felt some energy around it. So I went to his More Truth workshop and realized a few weeks later that it had completely changed my life. It had deepened everything. I felt a sort of a truth, a light, a coming together, a focus that I had never mm -hmm. experienced before. And so I really took notice of the kind of teacher he is and um, decided that I wanted to be his student. And so I contacted his representative in America, Sandra Shea, mm -hmm. and um, decided to bring him to Los Angeles because at the time I'm an astrologer. I've been an astrologer for many, many decades. It's what I do. Yeah, I'd like uh, our audience to know that you're very well respected in the uh, field. Thank you, that's very kind. <laughs> Others would differ, I'm sure. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, uh, I, I had a lot of clients in Los Angeles and I was traveling out there monthly to see them and I decided to bring Derek out there to sort of bring him into America. Mm -hmm. And that happened very quickly. And from that moment on, I was his student. And uh, he did bring in the Rising Star Healing Modality, uh, which is the purest energy healing modality on the planet at the moment. Anthony and I are both teachers and practitioners of the modality. We work with it a lot. And it is what it does is it clears out the chakra system, the energy centers of the body infuses them with light, facilitates the ascension process. Which Brings you to the fullness of who you are. Yeah. Well, you, you, both of you have said quite a few things that I think we want to explain a little bit further for people that aren't aware. Um, what is the ascension process? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I know we're getting deep into this, but it's... Uh... Well, I, you know, in order to explain that, I'm going to backtrack just okay. a teeny bit and say that Derek is a teacher who works with the Ascended Masters. The Ascended Masters are beings who have lived on the planet mm -hmm. at the end of their last lifetime. Obviously, they've had many incarnations. At the end of the, uh, their last lifetime, they ascended. They moved into the higher aspect of their own consciousness. And they made the conscious choice to serve humanity from the higher dimensions. And so they're all perfectly accessible, but they're not in physical form, although they can be. They can come into anybody's being and overshadow them at any time because they have this great consciousness. The truth is that, well, the truth for me is that we as human beings have been sort of trapped in this three-dimensional existence. And the three-dimensional existence is not just the world around us. In fact, the world around us, from my perspective, is created by our consciousness. We actually create the world we live in. So the thing is that what makes a 3D consciousness is really the physicality of our being. Our brains only work 10%, our chakra mm -hmm. systems are kind of closed down, mm -hmm. our DNA is only semi-functional, and scientists have found all of this to be true. The truth is that the rest of it is God, or the oneness, or the higher aspects of ourselves that we have sort of left behind by choosing to move into the density of the 3D world, to be in separate bodies, to experience ourselves. You know that saying in the Bible, God separated himself from himself so he could know himself better. That's exactly what we're doing here, because we are ultimately all aspects of the one God. I don't want to say we're God because people have reactions to that. That's not what I mean. It's not an ego thing. It's not a thing where you sort of see yourself as something greater than anything. We're all equal aspects of the oneness, just as every grain of sand is part of the beach, and without one grain, the beach would be different. It's the same thing. If I may, um, uh, what I'd like to say up front, if we're talking about the ascension process, is it's the big thing is to demystify it right up front. So these movies with, you know, 2012, the Jesus statue falling in Rio, and all this nonsense, and the doom and gloom, and it's Carmageddon, it's all my feeling, I should say, my truth is the dark working through the imagery of Hollywood to promote the other side, shall we say, and leave it at that. Uh, keep the fear factor going. Um, ascension is actually descension. People always tell me, do I have to leave my body? Is my husband going to die? Blah, blah, blah. No, ascension is descension. You are spiritualizing matter, uh, spiritualizing matter to form, and you're fully coming to who you are, which is your Atma, your light body, 
uh, if you will. Um, so you're not going anywhere, hopefully, unless you, you know, can't stand the vibration. You could probably explain this Well, better. it used to be that in order to become an ascended master, you had to leave your body mm -hmm. and be in a higher dimension and function from there. The reason that that's no longer true is because it is the end of the era, this sort of, um, this sort of phase of human evolution is coming to an end, and a new one's beginning. It's not the end of the world, it's the end of a section of our experience and the beginning of a new one. Every ending is also a beginning. Ushering in the golden age. It's a new age for humanity. You can call it the Aquarian age, mm -hmm. you can call it whatever you want. So we will be healthier, we will, the children born today, even, even medical science is starting to say we'll live hundreds of years possibly, or at least 150 years, uh, just on medical analysis without any kind of spiritual conscious component to it. So we'll be healthier, we'll be live longer, we will be more more and less as we can within a dualistic state, more love and light, we will all be as one. All these things that we've all hoped for collectively and individually for lifetimes on a soul level that we've been reaching for and seeking for will start to actualize. So this adjustment process is the ego still going, wait a minute, you know, is this gonna happen? Is this real? Is the shoe gonna drop? and we're sort of adjusting to it actually starting to happen. Oh, this is great, I can handle this. this is, and then you feel it more and more, and that's why all these workshops and modalities and teachers of light are coming more and more and more to keep that process. Well, I tell you, I want to get into the specifics of, of the, uh, the possible physical uh, manifestations leading to 2012, so we can perhaps tie it a little bit more into a scientific reality. Well, and, but I want to take a short break because we're, I, I can see sure. that this is going to, we have a lot yet to discuss. So okay. let's take a short break now. We'll be back in a moment.